All right, so uh, welcome to our exhibit called Isolationism. And this is a, a group project. My name is Mr. Venditti, and we're here at Bishop McDevitt High School. And I've been working with the third period fine arts group and then the sixth period art group. And uh, we have come up with an amazing uh, display of artwork. And uh, I want to share with you a little bit. So if you look across the top here, it says isolationism. And each letter is different because during the isolationist period that we're in right now, which is a pandemic inspired isolationism, uh, everybody has an individual story that they, that they have to tell. It's affected everybody differently. It's affected us collectively in that we all now have to wear masks. We all have to follow a lot of different rules in our life. Um, but individually, it's affected people as well. So that's what this project was all about, was to give the students an opportunity to express their personal feelings during the pandemic. So I'm gonna show you some of the artwork that we have. And um, we'll start here. You, know, you can come on a little closer. Um, so here is one of the works from one of our students in the sixth period. And uh, this here is an example of just really what she has experienced in the pandemic. And uh, Emma is a, a great artist as well, as you can see. But you can see the, the feeling, the emotion, the despair, the anxiety, uh, yet the, the, the youth and the uh, the beauty. Um, so it's a lot of dreams that are being challenged right now. So this is one example here. Here's another example of one of our students' arts. Art Eamon uh, put this together as a real expression of fear, anger, uh, despair, really basic human instincts that you, you have to tap into during these times. So this guy looks like he hasn't had a haircut in a long time. Um, and the students all have their unique stories to tell of where the pictures came from and how they, they thought of it. Here's another example of uh, one of our students, Amenta, and she's trying to capture herself, really, and the mixed emotions, the tears, the pain, uh, the confusion, all these emotions that are part of our experience. None, none of us have ever dealt with this before, you know, other than watching movies about it, maybe, and then all of a sudden we're just thrown into it and we're trying to survive the best way we can. So art is a powerful way for people to express their emotions. As far as uh, inspiration or artists that have affected the isolationist movement, uh, we found Vincent van Gogh to be Maybe, you know, before his time, but he captured a lot of isolationist type um, design in, in his artwork because he was in his mind isolated from people and he had a lot of issues, depression and things of that nature. So we like to sort of look to him as an inspiration to our art, our designs, things of that nature, Vincent van Gogh, who was post-impressionist uh, back like early 1900s. So, you know, in addition to um, the pandemic during this time, we've seen a lot of, uh, you know, masks and designer masks, 
Some people are really going to town with the mass, um, which, which I think is smart. Uh, you know, put on a sort of a designer mask, I think is kind of cool. So that's this picture here expresses. <clears throat> And then we had during, you know, during the pandemic, we had the situation with George Floyd. And, uh, you know, so you combine a, a terrible tragedy like that, everybody's watching, and you got a pandemic on top of it, and then all kinds of protests broke out afterwards. And still, to this day, you know, it's not settled. So. We've been dealing with a lot. We, we dealt with Kobe Bryant's death as well during that, you know, that heartbreaking loss of his life, his daughter's life as well. So as you can see, uh, our students have been working hard, very, very hard, <clears throat> and it's just real. It's a, it's a place you come in, you see it, and it's real. So we encourage anybody that wants to come into the room and check it out, uh, feel free to come into our art room. So thanks for checking it out, and we're going to be adding more pictures to it in the days ahead. So hopefully this will be a, a wall of remembrance for McDevitt students having all gone through this and continue to go through it together. So anyway, I want to thank all the students from Bishop McDevitt and the art program for contributing to this important piece of history, and we're going to call it Isolationism. Thank you very much.